I told you. I told you. I said, shooters, shoot, and we would keep firing away. And guess what? We did it. Last week, 20 plays on Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you, the viewers, because we hit 13 of them. We're back at 500 for the season. Now we go. Biggest week of the year right now. Roll tape. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Uncle Dan's Best Bets here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, really fun week on the channel. If you didn't already, Bills obviously on the bye. Um, strange week for me. We're recovering. If you haven't watched the uh, bye week spicy podcast, uh, hot ones, please do it. Really fun. A lot of comments in saying that this was the best podcast we've ever done. Uh, my wife, who's not a big sports fan, she watched the entire hour and a half one. Pretty much Mike, Jen, and I eat increasingly hot wings from the show. Hot ones. Holy stuff. Oh, it's like. It's got good flavor. It <laughs> it's hot. I am immediately sweating. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is. I don't know if to drink this water or dump it on my mm -hmm. head. Oh my God. That one's hot. That is. And I like the taste though. Holy shit. I keep <laughs> Promo code if you want any of the sauces, let James Cook over on Karma Sauces. Really cool video. Please be sure to check it out. Um, it was worth it. I promise you it's worth it. Also, Uncle Dan's Best Bets, once again, brought to you by Incognito Menswear. They're in Penfield. Be sure to check them out. I've been shouting them out in all the last few episodes. How about this for you? How about the lining on this one? The pocket square to match? Um, I've been saying it. They're not just weddings. They're not just proms. Uh, last week, I had the, the casual winter vest. Uh, great clothing selection all the way throughout. So if you're looking for a prom or a wedding or just looking to freshen up your wardrobe, be sure to check out Incognito Menswear in Penfield. I worked with Alex. Great spot. I'm waiting on a green suit. I've ordered a green suit. If they don't have the suit there for you, um, they'll get it for you. They can order stuff. You can get just the, the sport coats, uh, mix and match with pants. Great stuff there. So again, thank you to them for a proud sponsor of Incognito Menswear. All right, moving forward. How about last week? Mm, last week felt good. Last week felt damn good. One last thing for you. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! If you don't follow me already on X or Twitter, be sure to go there right now. Uh, follow me at Dan Fates. I said my Bills Eagles plays would be on there for my prop bets because I was still waiting to check out a couple things. I ended up firing way more. Um, I added a David Ninjoku over receiving yards because one of my good friends, Ian, tipped me off to that play. So yeah, if you want to tip me off, I'll put your bets in here. I just want winners. We all just want winners here. That's all we're trying to accomplish. So shout out to Ian hitting the David and Joku over receiving yards. Um, but hey, we fired uh, 20 bets. Remember to always gamble responsibly. 20 bets, though. The most ever in Uncle Dan's best bets history. We hit 13 of them. Massive. Needed it. I told you. Shooters, shoot, we would keep firing. We were never going to start playing scared. We hit 13 of them. We are now 57, 57, and 1 on the year. So what that means is it's time to get hot. We have never finished under 500 in the three and a half years of Uncle Dan's best bets. We do not plan on doing it now. Um, so I got 10 more plays for this week. And again, plays could be added as the week goes on. So just be sure to follow along uh, on social media at Dan Fates on X. So again, 10 more plays for this week. But I could always add more. And if I do add them, they will be on social media. All right. And I really, it felt good to fire some, some gut instinct plays. Uh, I saw Tommy DeVito walking in doing this and instantly bet on him. My boy, Brian Dable and uh, quarterback Cole Cuts over there got us the win there. So again, let's keep it going. 10 plays. And we begin with, we begin with, um, how do I say this? We have taken the D Detroit Lions off our blacklist. We blacklisted them earlier in the season, but we're back on them here. Lions minus four and a half at the Saints. Saints aren't very good. 
They are not a very good team. 0-4 against the spread this season at home. Six straight losses against the spread dating back to last year. And since 2021, 5-14 against the spread at home. The Superdome is no longer this massive advantage for the Saints. And also, here's one for you. Good teams bounce back after bad losses. The Lions on Thanksgiving, it's a bad loss. But teams off of losses as seven-point favorites or more that have a winning record the following week, 42-35-1 and one against the spread since 2018. Good teams bounce back. You're getting Dan Campbell to get in those guys' asses and absolutely grill them for the extended time. They're getting extra rest. I like the Lions in this spot. Also, everyone for the Saints is injured. Everyone for the Saints is injured. Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, um, Shahid, uh, Shahid's injured for them. I don't know how they're going to move the ball. Lions don't have a very good defense. I just think the Saints offense is actually worse right now. So I will take the Lions minus four and a half. I will also take, we hit this last week, Jameer Gibbs over rushing yards. It's at 43 and a half right now on DraftKings. He has hit that in four out of his last five games. And over their last three games, the Saints have allowed 169 rushing yards per game. That is the second most in the NFL over the last three games. They're banged up. We're getting to the season where teams are banged up and they're just making business decisions about not wanting to tackle and be physical, okay? And it's not like the Saints have played this murderer's row of rushing offenses. They played the Bears, who have an okay one, the Vikings, who don't, and the Falcons. So they're just gassed. I like them to, with the issues that Jared Goff has had the last few weeks with turning the ball over, I think they keep it simple. They let Jameer Gibbs do his thing. Uh, they hand it off a little bit more. 43 and a half rushing yards. I like that play. Also, third play, my best bet. Kind of gross. I'm not waiting to the end to do my best bet two-unit play. We did it last week. It was the Rams hit easily. Here one is just another gut one. Falcons, Jets, under 33 and a half points. How gross is that? You're thinking, this is like betting a baseball game. It's like betting an under of four. But look, listen, the New York Jets have averaged 10 points over their last five games. And over those last five games, they are averaging less than one offensive touchdown over that span. They're not very good. And if you want to know some, uh, my one friend Ian always jokes around about me that, that I'm all about trends. I don't care about trends that date back to 20 years ago. I don't care what the matchup is historically between the Bears and Vikings, who's won more matchups because I don't care what is 20 years ago have to do with this game, right? That, that That's stupid. But I like more recent trends. I like spot trends. So totals of 37 or less, extremely low totals, are 22, 4, and 1 recently. So you're thinking there's no way that total can be so low. Low totals have been hitting. 33 and a half. Totals of under 37. 22, 4, and 1 to the under. That's pretty good. Tim Boyle also stinks. I think they run the ball. I think both teams' winds are supposed to be gusting at MetLife Stadium. Uh, I saw a weather report of possibly 20 miles per hour. This game will go fast. It, they will run the ball. I like the under 33 and a half. It'll be my best bet. Moving right along, pick number four, Steelers, minus 5 and a half versus the Cardinals. This is a Matt Canada bump. We bet them last week because we thought they would bounce back, and they did. I think this is more of, hey, by the way, the middle of the field's open. You can, you're allowed to throw there, Kenny Pickett. Matt Canada's an addition, subtraction by addition. Getting rid of him is just good vibes for the team. The offense now seems to be free. We saw that with Ken Dorsey and the Bills. I like it to continue this week against the Cardinals at home. Kyler, not very good in, in his career in games under 50 degrees. I love the Steelers' defense. They get a boost knowing their offense isn't just automatically three and out. I love that. Uh, terrible defense. The Cardinals pretty much rank last in every single defensive category. Third down conversions, EPA, points, yards, all of those things. They stink. It's another good test for the, the Steelers to look like a real NFL team and continue to put up points and show they can put up, hey, 400 yards of offense isn't unbelievable. So give me the Steelers minus five and a half at home against the Cardinals. All right, next play. We will do another bet that we have done before. It hit for us. Let's have it hit again. Sam Howell over 37 and a half passing attempts. They are at home taking on the Miami Dolphins. They are massive underdogs. I think the Dolphins will be able to absolutely move the ball up and down the field. 
So I think Sam Howell will have to come from behind and throw the ball a lot. Nobody has thrown the ball more in the NFL this season. Go back to a few weeks ago when I talked about how Sam Howell just continues to air it out every single game. We bet it against the Giants even when you thought it was going to be a low game. They still throw the ball. If it's a high-scoring game, I think they're going to throw the ball more. Sam Howell has averaged over 41 passing attempts in eight out of his last nine games. I love Sam Howell's over 37 and a half passing attempts. I think they're behind against Miami. I think he's throwing it all day long. Okay, here's the interesting one for you. Pick number six. I got two plays in the Broncos-Texans game. First, I want the under 47. Broncos defense is ranked sixth in the NFL over the last few weeks since that disaster um disastrous start first five weeks they were terrible they obviously they gave up the 70 points they're playing much better of late um and this is an interesting one 21 percent of the bets are on the under you know i give this to you guys a lot public money sharp money right when everybody's on one side you would think the money's there 21 percent of the bets are on the under 71 percent of the money is on the under this is a sharp play every single person is betting the over they like the way Russell Wilson's playing. They like the way C.J. Stroud is playing. Everybody's betting the over. Take the under. It's where the sharp money is. 21% of the tickets is on the under, but 71% of the money. That means all the big bets, all the sharp money, it is on the under. We will take the under as well. We will be sharp. I will also take the Broncos plus three and a half. If you have to buy the hook, buy the hook. I just really like the way this seems like a, not a season-defining spot, but this is a massive game for the Broncos. Um, I think the Texans, we have been on them a, a, quite a bit this year. I think it's a little bit of a letdown spot after a big game against the Jags. Um, I just like the Broncos. I think they're playing better. I think you're getting the better defense, and Shroud has struggled a little bit more, obviously, against the better defenses. I just like the way Sean Payton and this Broncos team is playing with confidence. Russell Wilson looks great. Um, what I saw against the, you know, against Houston. What I saw for Houston against the Jags, I just didn't really love. I love what the Broncos are doing. Give me them plus three. If you have to buy the hook, buy the hook. All right, for my eighth play, we are going to go to another player prop, and it is Derrick Henry's over 61 and a half rushing yards. Look, the first time these two teams met, Derrick Henry was held to about 43 rushing yards. Not a great performance. He took that personally. He was asked about it this week. I expect an angry tractor seat as we move into December. I talked about it earlier in the week or earlier in these bets. Teams don't want to tackle. Teams are tired. Defenses are worn down. This is why it's called tractor seat season. Uh, he averages about 100 yards. He did it in like four out of his last five games against the Colts. This is a Mike Vrabel spot. Small home underdog, Vrabel, really good against the Colts in his career. They've covered six out of the last seven. I think they control the pace with Derrick Henry on the ground. I just think that this is a game where you're getting an angry Derrick Henry. And the other kicker, when they held Derrick Henry to 40 rushing yards earlier this year, the Colts had Grover Stewart, who is now serving the last game of a six-game suspension. Grover Stewart's their defensive tackle, six foot four, 315 pounds, big run stopper. He will not be in on this game, serving the final game of his suspension. I like Derrick Henry to go over 61 and a half rushing yards. Ninth pick, Rams, team total over 20 and a half at home versus the Browns. I've been saying it for a while. I think the Browns defense is really good. I don't think they're great. I don't think they're in that elite all-time I don't care what their stats say. They have held, look, there's some really bad offenses in the NFL right now, and the Browns played them and played a lot of them and shut them down. Okay, they, they've also played the Steelers a bunch who had Matt Canada as their coach. So this is the Rams team total over 20 and a half. Cleveland, how about this for you? Allowing 30 points per game this season on the road. Wow, bet you didn't know that. Yeah, Matt Stafford playing well. I like the way that this McVay offense, you're getting them at home, pretty healthy in a spot in a game they must win. I don't think this is a shootout by any means, um, but I really like the fact that you can get a small team total Rams over 20 and a half against what I think is a little bit, a little bit of an overrated defense in the Browns. Miles Garrett banged up. I know he's going to try and go, but that's a huge, huge injury to watch. So I think scoring three touchdowns isn't out of the question. I think they'll get the Rams defense can force some turnovers. I think they'll have some short fields. I like the Rams team total over 20 and a half. And finally, this almost was my best bet. I've been saying it all week. I love the 49ers minus two and a half. 
I know a lot of places have it at three. You can take the three. If if I was you, I would bet I would buy the half point. I'd buy the hook back. Okay. Um they're at Philly and everybody's going, What are you gonna do? How how's Philly? Ten and one team. How are they an underdog? Well, Vegas doesn't give away free money. I've talked about that here. And if this is some motivation, I okay. But I think Vegas factors a lot more stuff in than just motivation at this point in the season. You are getting the 49ers on extra rest and with revenge. They played on Thanksgiving, and I said, they're a really good team. They lost three games in a row. They were banged up. They got their bye. They're healthy again. You're getting Kyle Shanahan. You're getting a healthy team with extra rest. Vegas isn't thinking about necessarily as much motivation. They're looking at factors. The Eagles are banged up. They played a brutal, brutally physical, tough game against Kansas City. They had to go to overtime against the Bills. This is an emotionally taxing stretch for the Eagles. I don't know if they have a full tank. Okay, Fletcher Cox is banged up. Uh, Lane Johnson is banged up. The sharp money. This game opened at the uh, 49ers minus one. It instantly went to minus two and a half. All of the big money came early in the week on the 49ers. Vegas doesn't give away money. And here's the stat for you. We talked about it earlier this year. Teams with a winning percentage of 70% or higher getting points as an underdog. Since last year, 1835 and one. Everybody thinks, how is that possible? Oh, it's free money. I'll take the Eagles. Go ahead. Vegas isn't afraid of you taking the Eagles plus three. They're just not. And Vegas, they don't they don't have big hotels and casinos and shiny bright lights because they give money away. That's fine. I think this line is completely fair. If these teams are both coming off a bye, Doug Kazarian was talking about it. The odds makers would probably have this game as a pick 'em. It's just a situational spot. It's a tough spot for the Eagles to have to continue to get up. The 49ers are going to play with revenge and rest. It's big. I know that the Eagles may be upset about that. It's just a fact. I like the 49ers minus two and a half. So there are the 10 plays. We are 57, 57 and one on the season. Um, I may add an Amon Ross St. Brown receiving over uh, total. It's at 81. I'm tempted to do that right now. Again, some more plays could be added. Last week, 20. This week, cut it in half. Right now, we're at 10. This is the time of the season that we need to get hot. Need to get hot. We're back at 500. Let's not look back. How about that for you? Again, shout out, congrats. Thank you to Incognito. Congrats. Thanks to Incognito Menswear for, again, sponsoring Uncle Dan's Best Bets. Shout out to Ian, John McClintock, and Basil Sarantis, and all the people that follow along. I see the comments. I appreciate it. Um, the guys that comment in with their picks, um, we appreciate doing this. It's been tough sledding at times. Last week felt felt really damn good. It felt good to go 13-7 and seven with firing the most bets we'd ever have in Uncle Dan's Best Bets history. So let's continue to stay hot. Let's build off it and cruise into the final stretch of the season. This is where we got to, you got to bear down. All right. Appreciate it. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Comment in with your plays. DM me on X or Twitter. Let me know what you really love. Maybe we'll throw them in there. All right. We all just want winners. That's what we're here for. Winners. Just want to win. Thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out Incognito. Appreciate it as always. We'll catch you next time here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Best of luck your weekend with Uncle Dan's Best Bets.